Hey everyone, welcome back to VBA to Z. In our prior video, we'll learn how to um, write the data to the database from uh, MS Excel using VBA. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to um, import the data or synchronize the data from your database into your Excel uh, using um, VBA and SQL. Okay, a little bit of SQL, which I'll tell you how to generate. So first, I'll go to my database to generate SQL. So this is our sample table we created yesterday, and um, now we will create a query just to filter certain data here, okay? So I'll say create and then query. I'll select this table. And then uh, let's select the fields that you want to import into so let's say I don't need the date of birth and the designation for now. I'll just drag the fields into my table and I'll say I want to import all the you know records in the table where this is where I put in my criteria here. So if you have more than one criteria, you can certainly put it in all this. So here I'm going to say greater than 6k. Okay, let's run it. So Originally, we have uh, 22 records, and now we have filtered it to 10k. There are 10 users, 10 employees, whose bonus is greater than 6,000 a year. Okay. So this is the view I have, and I want to take the SQL of this. So I'll copy all this. I'll, if you can, try to make it to one line so that you don't have to concatenate in your Excel. So I've copied this, and then. I'll come back here if you remember we did this uh, updating the records part 2 yesterday so I'll copy this whole code I'll copy them insert them into a new module and then I'll say sync data and then I'll just put it like this this is part 1 and now I have to copy this again. I'll put it here. Just make sure that this is there, okay. And now I'll just get rid of this for now. So for now we are not using these variables. So this is um, like in my other videos we have already explained that all these are declarations. So this is our SQL statement and then uh, we're opening the connection or records it and then we're closing our record or you know that we have open and then close the connection again. So this is where we're going to write uh, uh, the code to retrieve into our Excel um, sheet. So I'm adding a new tab. I'll call this um, data from X from Davy from DB. And we'll try to pull into this one okay so let's say that uh, we have a pre uh, format here and then uh, I want to paste it here in a2 this is my table and I want to pull it down here so if you want to do you can filter it and pull it to your form you can pull it anywhere you want but uh, for the simplicity sake uh, we are just uh, slicing it to our excel spreadsheet for now so uh, the syntax here is uh, cells row number two column number one dot copy from record set rs so let's try this so if I run this now it should pull the view that we've created so this is the view we've created but we have not saved this so it has nothing to do with that it's just that we need the scroll statement for that so I'm going back to my BBA editor and then I'll just run this so this is the statement that's gonna open and then it's gonna copy this the RS data into my cells 2 of column number 1 so let me run this 
there it is so this is um, this is how you can pull the data so these two fields are not required this is how it is so this is how you can pull in the data you can filter out uh, um, your criteria from here as well you can put multiple you know combination of um, uh, you know filters before you retrieve the data so this is one way um, if you want to make changes to all the condition more dynamic please refer to our prior videos where we use um, like uh, this you know we'll put a criteria which are dynamic to our excel form here something like this you can try it out and um, now let's uh, try to look through each of the records and then try to um, retrieve them so let me just disable this or um, let me just create a new module I'll just insert a new module and I'll call this part 2 of synchronizing the data where we'll look through all the record sets and then we'll try to print them into Excel so I'll create a new tab again and I'll see this one is um, data 2 and this exercise is pretty much gonna be the same but uh, this way we're gonna loop through so if we have to let's say that we don't have a criteria like this we can loop through and put a validation to do certain uh, activities so sometimes it might be useful for you to um, know this method as well so the earlier one we use copy from record set so this is the method we use to retrieve to take the data from RS into our Excel sheet cells 2 which is B to uh, you know uh, A2 so let's try to look through so while you know the record set is still till the end of file till the end of record we want to loop through and then we want to print the values that are there so we have to print additional fields like uh, employee name salary date of birth is the date of birth okay for now just leave it and bonus so now we have to say these are the fields we want to retrieve so we should say that cells so if we make a static cell it's not gonna work so we have to assign a dynamic cells here sorry so I'm saying assign you know a value of these fields to these particular cells in Excel that's what I'm trying to do now we have to look through all the record sets here and then um, we have to also in increase the row so that the prior value that is retrieved does not get overridden so I'll just say that uh, dim my dim row count row let's say row index as long that will be my row number dynamic row number so I'll say row number is equal to starting row number is 2 starting and then here I want to say row number is index is equal to plus 1 I'll basically increment it so that the next time it loops through it increases the value and put a value to uh, retrieve the value to some other you know the next row so this column number one column number two column number three and column number four so basically what I'm saying here is um, take uh, the value so after we open the database we are saying to my you know the code here telling the code to look through all of them and then in row number row index which will be you know incrementing so first it will be two and then the next time it loops through it will be three four five and so on and then put rs employee name value to that particular field so first it will put a value here and then next here and so on okay so 
these are the field names that we have for the assigned employee name and then date of birth and then we have salary and bonus okay so let's try and run it and see if it works so if you want specific sheets to be retrieved to like this one data too so you can get a hard you know the the object name sheet 2 is you know um the actual name is sheet 5 she uh data 2 is the caption so we can say sheets to sheets this dot cells so let's prefix this for now and let's try and run it so I'm doing F8 to loop through all of them so you see that it started printing here okay there is some error there let's see items to be found in collection corresponding to the, 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 the okay hold on so we have put in in a query something else and then we put in date of birth here that's the reason why so we need to keep track of this as well so I'm saying that uh, I didn't mention to you know in this SQL to bring in the date of birth but I put in here so it didn't understand what to pull so let's try again let me clear this off F8 again open the connection um, open the table and then start printing so the next one here will be our bonus value 8000 so it will keep on looping like this like this till it reaches the end and then it will clear off the memory and then it will close the connection so this is another way of synchronizing the data from database into your excel so like i've said in my prior videos you can also create views and so on here and you don't even have to you know write sql statement like this you can directly put in your name of the view here view or table name and so on here and then um you can you know pull the data directly uh from that view into your excel so uh sorry here in in this record and then um you can uh, you know do the reporting from the huge data sets you can retrieve a portion of data slice it into your excel and then dynamically you know manipulate the data and do your reporting and so on so i hope you found this informative uh, this was a short video and then um we'll try to cover more in the um, coming days and um, if you have not subscribed uh, please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys soon bye bye